relation between intensity E and potential V. Now, suppose we have a charge Q over here. At O, I have a charge Q. Intensity goes in this direction as this is a positive charge. Now, you are asked to find the potential difference between two close points A and B separated by a distance dr where A is at a distance r from O. Now, potential at any point is a work done in bringing plus 1 coulomb charge from infinity to this point. Now, when you bring a charge from infinity to B and from infinity to A, as A is a uh, greater distance inside, so this potential will be more. So, if this potential is uh, V minus dV, then this potential is V because greater work has to be done in bringing one coulomb charge from infinity to A. Now suppose I have a Q0 charge which I have to bring from B to A. Force on Q0 charge by this Q charge is Q0E. E is the force on 1 coulomb charge. So on Q0 charge the force will be Q0E. E is the force on 1 coulomb charge. So force on Q0 will be Q0E. E due to a point charge Q. The formula is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square. So intensity varies with the distance. So this is a variable force. As R changes, intensity changes due to R, E changes and therefore the force on Q0 changes from point to point. We assume dr so small, we assume dr so small that within this dr distance, the force remains constant. Within this dr distance, the force remains constant. So this small work done in bringing the charge through a distance dr, dw is equal to minus fdr. Why minus? Because force is in this direction and we are bringing the charge in the opposite direction. So force is in this direction. Displacement is in this direction. This angle is 180 degree. So work done is Fs cos 180. Cos 180 is minus 1. So work done is minus Fs. So I have minus Fdr. Why did we go to the small dr? Because F is a variable force. It is a variable force. And we assume dr so small that within this small distance dr, force remains constant. Now, what is f? f is q0e. Into dr, this is the small work done. 
the potential difference is the work done to bring one coulomb charge but here we have brought q not coulomb charge here we have brought q not coulomb charge potential is the work done to bring one coulomb charge so my potential difference v minus v minus dv potential difference is v minus v minus dv is a work done to bring one coulomb charge so if you put the value of dw over here what do we have it is minus q not e dr by q not now q not cancels this becomes dv equal to minus e dr therefore what is intensity intensity can be written as minus dv by dr dv is the potential difference and dr is the distance between the two points now dv dr is actually what children it is potential gradient dvdr is actually potential gradient so what can we write electric field intensity electric field intensity at a point in an electric field in a given direction because intensity is a vector quantity is equal to the negative potential gradient the negative potential gradient in that direction in that direction so here the negative sign signifies children the negative sign the negative sign signifies that potential decreases in the direction of electric field the negative sign tells us that as r increases v decreases the negative sign tells us as r increases v decreases now what is the importance of the relation between electric field and electric potential what is the importance of the relation between e and v children this relation helps us to calculate it enables us to calculate
the electric field intensity it helps us to calculate the electric field intensity which is a vector quantity at a point if potential which is a scalar quantity at that point is known see knowing a scalar quantity i can find out a vector quantity by this simple relation now how is it so see for example children you have a plate having positively charged now what is the direction of the intensity how do you know the direction of intensity now from a point charge from a point charge q at a distance r what is my potential 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q by r now we know intensity is minus dv dr so put the value of v over here minus ddr of 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q by r so if you take the constant outside it is minus q by 4 pi epsilon not ddr of 1 by r now when you differentiate what will it be r to the power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 so it is minus 1 by r square so q by 4 pi epsilon not if you differentiate this it is uh, ddr of uh, so it is minus 1 by r square now minus minus becomes plus so intensity is q by 4 pi epsilon not r square now not only we get the magnitude of intensity this is the magnitude of e but i told you you will get the vector e how now this is a positive quantity positive quantity means that the direction of e positive e means the direction of e will be radially outward radially outward from a positive charge so electric field must be directed radially outward from a positive charge that means if this is the positive charge your intensity direction will be coming out from the positive charge radially outward so this will be the direction of e so now if it is a negative charge if this becomes negative then potential will be negative you here you will have a minus sign if there is a minus sign over here you will have a plus sign over here because q is minus so if q is minus then this will become plus and after you differentiate this you will get a minus sign now when this becomes minus that means it will be directed inward so knowing the potential 
knowing the potential you can get the magnitude of e and also the direction of e so once again let us recap relation between intensity and potential intensity is a vector quantity potential is a scalar quantity now here we got a point charge q at a distance r there is a point a and in a very small distance dr i have another point b a is at a greater potential because potential is a work done in bringing plus 1 coulomb charge from infinity to this point so when you bring a plus 1 coulomb charge from infinity to a here you have to bring it to a greater distance and when you bring a plus 1 coulomb charge from infinity to b here the distance is less so greater work has to be done over here so a is at a higher potential b is at a lower potential now intensity is the force on one coulomb charge i have a q not charge over here so force on q not is q not e e varies as r square so e is a variable force so at every point force on this q not will be different since it is a variable force we take the help of calculus to find out the work done we assume dr so small that within this small distance dr force remains constant so my work done is minus fdr y minus force and displacement are in the opposite direction now put the value of f this is q not e now potential is the work done to bring unit charge so potential difference i have to divide with q not so dv becomes minus e dr e is minus dv dr what is dv dr called it is called potential gradient what is dv dr called potential gradient electric field intensity at a point in an electric field in a given direction is equal to the negative potential gradient in that direction the negative sign signifies that potential decreases in the direction of the electric field that means if you come over here as r increases if you go in the direction of e we will decrease and for that reason we have the negative sign now what is the importance of the relation between electric field and potential the rena the relation enables us to find electric field intensity which is a vector quantity at a point if the potential scalar at that point is known so potential suppose we have a positive charge potential is positive e is minus dv dr put the value of v and you get e positive e positive means it is radially outward so for positive charge intensity is radially outward now if it would have been a negative charge then here you would have a negative sign then here you would have a negative sign so this would have come out to be negative negative means it would have been directed inward 